That is stunning. That is uh, indeed stunning because it's really a showcase of craftsmanship. Yes. Uh, of which we added some more. That dial is uh, amazing. Looking at the frosted dial. Yes. The inspiration, by the way, is is right here. That ah okay. This is a uh, Ferdinand Bertou piece from 1806. Extraordinary. And um, it's always been uh, in the back of my mind to uh, reproduce a frosted dial. You know, it's interesting like actually. This. Frosted finishes for me yes. are one of my favorite, and frosted finishes, which I associate a lot with them, um, the Berthou dials. But also, yes. you know, remember the the great British watchmakers as well. Mm -hmm. You know that they always did frosted finishes for their yes. movements as well, and I think that's one of the most beautiful aesthetics. But now, how do you? What is the technique for achieving this? Because it's a massive gold dial, correct? It's a massive gold dial, and on top of everything, it is hand engraved here. Wow. Um, again, uh, nah. based on this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to need to use a loop to read this because. Uh, the irony is that Please. when you finally are old enough to afford the watches you like, this is the problem, you can't read yes. them anymore. You know, like a, I'm a money geek. Oh, you even replicated the the yes. handwriting. Yes, the handwriting style. Absolutely. Ah, there's a coup. The frosted finish is so refined, though. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting to me also to see and how it continues on the side. <laughs> we wow. we decided this is the first Bertou with which features some diamonds, yes. but as you can see, you only discover it on the second side. Incredible. So what you'll see, we'll pass a watch over to you guys, but it's uh, in addition to that, um, Cal Frederick has integrated baguette diamond setting, but only into the sides of the watch, which is really interesting because it and kind of replicates and the, the fluted crown. Uh, and the crown. Look at the crown. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because Very it's, like, it's like a clan d'oeil towards fluting. Yes. Right? Yes. Exactly. Very subtle. And which is funny almost because someone from afar would think, oh, is, is there some sort of decoration mm -hmm. to the metal? And yes. the fact that it's using gemstones to kind of give that additional subtle, but when you see it, you know, rather brilliant. And when you dimension. continue, turn the watch around, there is a hand engraved uh, technique used here on the bridges. Now, I've never seen this technique before. Um, it's a technique we, we also kind of revived. And um, it's, uh, it's totally hand finished as well. It's extraordinary. So this watch is full of subtle surprises outside the, uh, of course, the, the great movement. It's, I guess, the sort of the uh, ultimate expression of this watch in some ways so far, because you've got this incredible mechanism, yes. the tourbillon and the, the um, chin and fusée, which we love. Mm. But now you have sort of elevated using these decorative techniques, but they're decorative techniques inspired by Berthoud himself, you know, which is really lovely. Um, so exactly. they're not gratuitous, they're meaningful. There are pocket watches where Berthoud used diamonds on the hands. Really? On the hands. On the hands. On the hands. So, on the hands. Yes. Ah, okay. So we, you know, we we're not, we have not uh, invented something that wasn't there. Right. <laughs>